Hello friends, welcome again to my channel Marco for You Perfume. This is episode number 22. And today I'm gonna review a cheap niche quality perfume. Basically, it's Emmanuel Ngaru Longo EDT Concentration. It's a fragrance that is wearable by woman too, so I personally think it's this one at least it's a unisex. Please consider to subscribe, to share, to like, to write comment and tap the bell so every time there's a new release you will be informed. Okay. So today's episode is about L'Homme by Emmanuel Ungaro. Emmanuel Ungaro was a French avant-garde designer in the haute couture in the 70s that passed away at the age of 86 in 2019, so quite three years ago. He's famous for, for his elegant dropping and using from blowing colors. He dressed famous VIPs like Catherine Deneuve and Jacqueline Kennedy. So this is a very nice 100 ml bottle EDT concentration that has a kind of stone coating on it. It's kind of terracotta. The tack uh, is uh, basically a sticker that is quite heavy, uh, quite uh, metallic look, have a quite metallic look. Uh, I purchased this masterpiece for only 20 euros, which is around 35 dollars. And I like it, even the cap I like. It's plastic, the cap, but it's very good quality for the price again. So uh, the distribution on the atomizer is perfect also. This Emmanuel Ungaro was released in 2018. The perfumers behind the masterpiece are Alexis Grujon and Véronique Niper. The category genre is woody, spicy, aromatic. Okay, the note. The note in the opening, it's a little bit synthetic, just a little bit for uh, around five minutes, not more. And in the opening, you got bergamot, of course, a very del delicate peach, black pepper, and I can oh almost scent um, lavender, a little bit, a little bit of lavender. Black pepper is dominant. That's one of the spicy note that is inside the opening of this one. In the middle note, it became a little bit more powdery and you got iris, like in some famous other brands, sage, lavender, and this one more, and this time more pronounced again, and I detect a little bit of violet also, I think. And in the base note or the dry down, you got leather, light leather, and very nice leather, cedar and patchouli, patchouli. The season, it's an all year. Uh, you can wear it in all season. It's an all season scent, okay? What it remind me of? Okay, this one is a mix of three to four perfumes. I know it's a little bit complicated, but you will understand. It's a mix between Rocha Moustache, 70%, also Dior Sauvage, uh, sorry, Dior Homme, 60%, uh, the first release, of course, uh, but much more airy, soft, and modern, and niche even. It reminds me also 70% of Valentino Uomo, 70%. And Ferragamo Uomo Signature, uh, this one also 70%. So you got another cheap masterpiece in the room. So for this woody aromatic uh, to last, you need between eight to 10 sprays for it to last five hours on your skin and seven on your cotton shirt. The projection here is a little bit moderate. That's why it's hairy. Uh, and it's around one meter around you and project for around an hour, not more. The sillage is quite quick. It's more intimate scent, okay? The demography is quite large for from 20 years old to 80 years old, yes. The occasion to wear is really for all occasion. Unlike the Valentino Uomo Intense, this one is more modern, more airy, more light, 
and suitable of course for all occasion the season again it's an all season they've done it very well the brand they blend it in a way that you can wear it really in all season okay for the same reason the note i will give uh, for Lom by Emmanuel Ungaro EDT is 8 out of 10 yes for this very nice and delicate scent almost niche uh, the soft leather note combined with iris and patchouli is very pleasant here also because it's a cheaper and airy alternative to a few perfumes that I mentioned earlier in this video as I already said never judge a perfume at the first sniff especially this one because maybe the iris and the leather so let your brain get used to it give it three times uh, three tries okay and then you will know if it's uh, if it fits for you so now should you buy it should you consider it or should you avoid it i think you know the answer in my honest opinion you should buy it especially if you're starting a journey in perfume and you have a collection because it's well blended just the, the first five minutes uh, it's a little bit synthetic it's a perfect perfume as a signature scent it's very cheap for the quality offer so it's a bargain thank you for watching your perfume channel marco for your perfumes feel free to share like and comment thank you very much it's episode number 22 bye bye